360. I'm ready for it. Go. Long off. Six and your second oldest? Second youngest. Second youngest. Yes. <laughs> so you live down in Gastown? I live uh, a block down there. What do you feel about this area with all the, the change? Uh, and you know what? It's terrible. 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 It's no. no, it's a culture shock for them, especially if they go another five blocks down that way to the yeah, camping ground. It's, really it's a popular job down here to be a drug dealer. Yeah, and, and there's a but I went to the old spaghetti factory to eat. Is that any good? It, 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 it's good, but they went up in places, but it's <laughs> in gas town. And I, um, there's a big tattoo guy that owns this place. I know the guy. But it's Is this one right behind us here? Yeah, he owns this one. And then my friends own this one, the Sardine. Who's that? The Rodney's. And they know all about punk rock music. So they've been all over here. And they're my buddies. And so if they gave me a discount there, this guy treats me well. Fantastic. And that pizza joint, right there. Oh, yeah. I trade him a beer for a slice of pizza. I don't know who's getting the better deal. He didn't care about my music. He's trying to appear like our age. But I'm safe right now because it's quiet. I've known these people since they were kids. So what are the chances? And they all grew up with that's not you in school. Yeah? Or, yeah, I have known in a lot of places. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah. Especially Edmonton. Yeah. And it, it's a bit of a privilege. And sometimes it would be a pain in the fucking ass. But that cop even knows my name. It's my real fucking name. What's his name? Uh, somebody walks me. They walk me right to my door to make sure I'm okay. My mom always told me I was born with a gift, but she said, keep in mind, the gift comes with a curse. And she was right. Was, uh, and she said, because you don't like being recognized. But look at me. It's fucking totally impossible. It's impossible. You guys are fucking yeah, impossible. Yeah, don't so you a block you away. A block away. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys see my pretty cool one. Friendly. Yeah. So, I can take time out. I can read people pretty well. I've been all around the world. Like over 10,000 shows. 10,000 shows. Do you have any highlight shows? Hi. Where was the first time in LA you played? Uh, that was 1985. Whiskey and Gogo. -Go. In 85. Yeah, I remember everything. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, there yeah. and uh, Lemmy was there. He signed my book, and uh, playing with Nirvana was one of my highlights. Oh, yeah. In the 90s. I got the Kiss Kirk open. The Kiss Kirk, he was only 22 years dead, five years later. And I played with everybody. You name a band, I, I tell you, I played with that band. 15 years, people come and go. Has there been a lot of reunions over time? People coming back and forth from the bands? Oh yeah. Well, they have kids and they're married and shit like that. Move the way we move and we are who we are. 
It's a totally impossible. Yeah, we're supposed to be in downtown, right in this area. It's so well, I know it happens everywhere. No matter where you are, no matter wherever you are. You've got that iconic look. It's yeah. hard to get away from that. Yeah, well, that's the curse. <laughs> I'm going about 10 pictures a day, and I sell them. But if you see me, like if I had them right now, I would sell you one and give you guys one. But my bag's over there. It's great that you can leave it there. It's nice to have friends. Oh, uh, no, it's me. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I did like uh, 30, 30 drawings in the last oh, wow. three days. I'm so proud to say I've been drug free for 14 years. Hey, good job. Wow, that's fantastic. You, I don't know, I almost died seven times. Seven times? Oh, my. You're a cat. Yeah, well, I was uh, just came out of hospital after my second blood transfusion. Oh my gosh! And the doctor said I'm not going to see my next birthday. <laughs> what a fucking asshole! So I don't believe a word he says. Yeah, but I can sleep for a week after that. Yeah. I look at 56, but I'm fucking withered away. Uh, well, when your doctor tells you you only got fucking two more months to live, just ignore him. I say, fuck you. I, I believe in angels, and doves, the stars, the planets, aliens, spaceships, UFOs, yeah, uh, gravity, longevity. All that. Like yeah, but yes. you know what? In, in, like, I tell my band mates this all the time, I'm ready to go. Like, I wasn't born here. I was landed. I'm a fucking alien, man. And I'm waiting for the mothership, the spaceship, to come and take me away. Yeah. And I always have this vision. I'm, I'm going upstairs, man. I'm already in town. So I'm going upstairs to meet two people, to reunite. And there's these, there's one pillow of cloud and a, a second pillow of cloud. And then when I get there, there's going to be a third one. I'm going to be in the middle there. It's going to be my mother, who's dead. She's going to be beside me on the right, and my dead father on the left, and then I'll be right there with him. I can't wait. I'm waiting for it to stay for all my fucking life. You ready for the stairway now? Yeah. Oh, Dima. Yeah. It's more red to talk like that. I don't bad me, don't like it, but I'm like, hey man. <coughs> Anybody says, They've never contemplated the concept of suicide. It's a goddamn fucking liar. Bullshit. I think about it every hour. And then trying to configure it out. How do I OD? Hang myself? Jump up a belt? Shoot myself in the head? I think about this every fucking day. Every hour. And I've always been looking at for that one thing that keeps you here. The one thing that what? To keep, keep me here. Okay. That holds me here. And I, that's for me my family. What is it? It's myself. Keeping yourself here. The only thing, the best thing, and the most important thing that I wake up to every morning is me. Yeah. I got to meet some of my heroes. 
and my peers, I played with them all. Yeah, that was your path. Oh, and that was meant to be. Yes, I knew it. I saw it before. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I just got to follow that. I saw it. Incredible, isn't it? Yeah, it started when I was uh, eight years ago. That's when I started writing songs and now singing and drawing. And if you guys just for this little like 10 minutes or so, it makes me happy. And I hope you guys are happy. It's making me happy. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful dog, look how pretty it is. This is part of the, it's your vast it's openness is right there. It's my dark brown. It tells everything. Yeah. Yes, I didn't even have to say a word. Yeah. You guys have said I didn't need it. Yeah. I would have used We didn't have to talk. No. We didn't have to talk at all. But we only wanted to communicate a little. <laughs> well, that's what the music is, the universal language. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, you know, I saw a lot of people skateboarding. Yeah. And hardcore punk. What's your favorite place around here? Uh, well, I sure get a place called the Pub 340. Pub 340. And every night you're down there singing karaoke? Yeah. Well, we'll make sure to come down and say hi. Yeah. I'm just going to lay down for an hour or two. <laughs> it's the night is early. It's still young. <laughs> this is my buddy. He's in the old six. Yeah, just hanging out with his asshole. How's the sardine can? Good. Yeah, they close your That's the end of the night. Yeah. Hey, John. Hey. Uh, hey just we're just talking about the skateboard. Don't get out of here. Sorry, sorry. It's beautiful. Thank you.